Don't, don't let them go. Speak. So, verse number two. I said verse number two. Question two. How do you point the heroes of the world to an unbeliever without being seen as being judgmental? Now, this one is a very important question. Unbelievers are not subjected to the laws of the, of the church. We must always understand that. I've said it to people many times. Don't judge unbelievers by your standard. Don't. As a matter of fact, it's a big mistake. You yourself, this standard that you have attained, it was not by your power. Without the Holy Spirit, you could not do it. Now you want them to do it without the Holy Spirit. Don't. I can judge the church. That's what Paul said. Let's go to 1 Corinthians 5. 1 Corinthians 5 from verse 12. Verse 12 and 13 actually. 1 Corinthians 5. Verse 12 and 13. Look at what Paul said. He says, it is not for me to judge those who are outside. But those in the church, oh, ah, we will judge ourselves. Give me an LT. See, it isn't my responsibility to judge outsiders. But it certainly is your responsibility to judge those inside the church who are sinning. Those outside is not my responsibility. God will judge them. But you see, those in the church, we will judge ourselves. We will judge ourselves. We will, we will call ourselves, we will sit down, say, what you are doing is bad. I'm telling you, this is the only way we can remove the evil from the church. You see, the church we are doing today is not church. Where you can't touch, you can't do, you can't say, you can't speak. Somebody's misbehaving, we call, oh yeah, Come. Everybody has been saying you are misbehaving. What's wrong with you? That's why the Bible says that if a brother sins against you, go talk to him personally. Call another brother. Then call the church. And if you will not listen to the tree, do what? Treat them as unbeliever. That they are not supposed to be. That means you should not judge them because they are not part of you. But in the church, we must judge now. If somebody come and start misbehaving, won't we speak up? We have to speak up. So Paul said, we must judge in the church. Christians don't want to hear this thing. You know that, right? Don't judge me. I know I'll serve my God. Now lie. You're not serving God. If you are serving God, we'll see it. We are all serving the same God. If you can see it in my life, I must see it in your life. Now don't judge me, my God. Serve my God in my heart. Says who? Says who? He says what? Honor your God in your body too. Not only in your heart. So we have to what? Judge the church. And we see Apostle Paul doing that back over and over and over and again. Judging the church. Setting them straight. Telling them this is the path to go. What you are doing is wrong. It shouldn't be this way. It should be this way. This is the expectation. Let's read that scripture further down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So you must remove the evil person from among you. Keep reading. Let's see. You see what it says. Keep reading. When one of you has... has has a dispute with another believer. Don't worry, I don't want us to waste time on this thing. There's a place he gets to. I think, I don't know what verse it is. It says, don't deceive yourself. He said it. Do not deceive yourself. There's a place in the scripture he said, don't deceive yourself. We must correct the madness. We must. And if you remember the instruction that Peter, Paul gave to, to Timothy, it's part of it. Say, correct them. You must correct the church. If I don't judge, I cannot correct. Before I can correct, I must what? Judge. I must look at what you are doing according to the standard of God. And if I see that what you are doing does not meet the standard of God, what do I do? I correct. Uh, that means my correction is coming from a place of judgment. I must, I must judge. I must. We must. When, you become, when we all become parents, you will see that you are judging. Ha. You are a good judge. You, you judge all the time. I'm telling you the truth. You will judge all the time. It is necessary. It's important. Don't let the world turn things around. Use those virtues that God has given to us. They make them as if they are, they are, they are the evil. It's a lie. It has been the trick of the enemy and we will not allow him to pass. We will not allow it to slide. In our own corners, judge. Are you hearing me? Judge. People will like you for it, I tell you. 
even though they are doing the evil, they love you. They are not just telling you. They love you. They want you around them because they know that they have compass. They may not always agree with you, but they love what you are saying. I'm telling you the truth. It is when they enter problem, you will know they love you. The way they will run to you, that like, ah, my brother, you don't understand. What I'm saying. So, so you know that I've been here. I know that you are there, but situation I've not caused it. They, they want you. But if you have not been judging, let me give you another instance. If you have not always present yourself as this person that stand for truth, because that's where the judging comes from. You stand for truth. You stand for what is right. How will they know that they can come to you when the time of need comes? How would they know that you are different from everybody else? How would they know? Because you have never really revealed who you are to them. All because you don't want to be judged. Have you ever heard people say that? I was thinking about some days ago. How these people, they act, they act like holy and thou. Holy, 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 holier than thou. Yes, we are holier than thou. Yes. I'm telling you, don't let people turn what is good to evil. That's what the world is doing. And you to say, I don't want to appear holy. Then what are you? Don't think about it, what we say sometimes. Don't we say it? I don't want to appear too holy. You must be too holy. As a matter of fact, you must be too, 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 too holy. That's what the Bible says. Can you see what the world is doing? Now, you are saying you don't want to be what God called you. Because you want people to feel comfortable around you. You better run. But I don't even come close to me. This is who I am. So we must be careful and see the trick of Satan in this. You see the work of the enemy in this? How the enemy is infiltrating the church and silencing the virtues that God himself has placed on the church to change the world. When the Lord separated Israel unto himself, what did the Lord say? He says, the world will see how different you are and they will come to me. That's what the enemy is trying to take away from us. And we are falling into the trap. All because we don't want to speak. 